Hello Intune friends, in this video we're going to look at one of my favorite stuff for macOS management, it's custom attributes. It's very powerful because you decide what you report back, so it's an attribute to the device and you run a shell script and, de and define what you want to report back. I'll show quickly where that is in the console, so let's go to intune.microsoft.com, log in, then go under devices. Then we have macOS here, and here we have custom attributes. So we're gonna do three custom attributes in this video. Why three? Well, there are three different attribute types. One is integer, that's to report back a number. Another attribute is a string, which is a text string that we can report back, which is very useful. And the other one is a date format. So I have three scripts pre-prepared. You find them in the description of this video. You can just copy. I'm gonna show how we do that. So I have just copied them into text edit. If you have Xcode or another tool, Atom, please use that. But text edit you have on any Mac. So here, the first one here, it's gonna give back the reboot uh, time when it has rebooted. So first, when you paste into uh, text edit, you have to change the format first. So go here under format and make it plain text. And you see it changed a bit. Let's save this uh, script and I'm gonna explain a bit more what it does. So we go under uh, file here and just save it. Uh, I would, don't want it on the desktop, I want it on the new folder. Let's call it uh, custom attributes and uh, go in there. And then we don't want the extension of txt because we want this to be a script. So it should, uh, we already know it will dot, uh, end with dot sh for shell script. And let's, I prefix this one, gbn uh, reboot, reboot date. I'll put lowercase or something like that. It's not so important the name, we're gonna upload it to Intune console. So I saved this one. Let's see that this one actually give the time this one rebooted that it looks good. Open the terminal, I'll do it this way. Already have one open. Let's see where I stand, PWD. So I stand in my uh, user profile, that's the default. Let's go to uh, desktop. Let's go to desktop and under there we had a uh, custom attributes so if I do an ls here and list the files you see we have our file here if I run this file though however it will not work if I just uh, run it like this um, it doesn't want to run why it has to do with permission if we run ls uh, dash la you're gonna see here the permission. It's a legacy Unix permission, you could say. So this, the three first one is the owner of the files permission. The middle is the group, um, it's called staff. If you're a member of the group staff, you get this permission. And the last part is uh, everyone. And the R means read. So I have read write, but we need X, which is execute. So we can run a command called uh, change mod. And I'm going to add a 7555. So the 7 means that I'm going to get the read, write, execute. And the 5 is just going to be um, read, execute, read, execute. So you actually add uh, the numbers. So the read is worth 4 and the write uh, 2 and the uh, execute is 1. So if I changed it to only... Uh, 751 the read would disappear and it would be uh, execute only there okay and then i have to tell which file i want to change this permission for so now if i do an lsla again you see here on the file i got read write execute so the x again means execute and we need that to run the script so now it's going to let me run this one let's see if it gives the date when this um, mac rebooted so it gives year, month, and day. So at this recording, today is the 12th June, and it restarted the 7th. That seems correct. So the script echo out this. So this is gonna be the custom attribute that we get back. So we're gonna see which day and which time the machine rebooted. Okay, so the script seems to work. 
let's add it. So we just go here on the custom attribute and click add. We need a name. I'll call it uh, reboot uh, date, the uh, date and time the device has rebooted. And we go next. So here we have the three different attributes and we're going to get back a date. So let's take it as a date. Then we need a file. Well, I, I saved mine on the desktop under the custom attributes. So here we have the GBN reboot date. Let's take this one. So here's our script. So we can quickly go through the script. So it needs to start with this the, to tell that it's a bash script. These are just comments with the hash sign, same as in PowerShell actually. Then create the variable who get the boot time and a lot more. And this AV, um, AWK, it's a sort of extractor. The name comes actually from the three people who have uh, created this command. It's the first uh, letter of their last name, so it doesn't mean anything. So we just extract part of it, and then we change the format of it. And then here comes the magic. It echo out this uh, variable, and whatever this script echo out, that's going to be reported back per machine. So we go next here, we assign it. Well, I'm gonna add it to group. I'm gonna add it to all my Mac devices. There's no reason to run this on a Windows machine because the script won't run anyway. Go next, all looks good. So added. Let's add two more um, custom attributes and we can go a bit quicker now. So the uh, second one, it's gonna be Let's see what this is going to be. It's going to be a text string. So we're going to see who's the last user who have logged in. So we do the same, but I go a bit faster now. Format, make it as a plain text. Let's save this one in the same folder. Custom attributes. We can use the same prefix. GBN uh, last login user and .sh. We save it and we could upload it directly, but I think it could be nice to just verify uh, that the output is correct before we do that. So I'll clear the screen here, start to be a bit messy, do an LSLA. So now we have two script and you see here we have execute on this one, but not on this one. So let's just change that. So change mod and I can do 77 this time just so we see it's uh, different and GBN last logged in user. Okay, that's done. If we do an LSLA, you're going to see that this one have slightly more permission now because we did 77, but we just need the execute one. So let's see who is the last logged in user. Hopefully that should be me. It is. This is my user. So perfect. The script seems to work good. Then we upload this one as well. Uh, last login user. To see who the last login user was, is. And we go next. This time it's actually going to be a string. So we keep the default one. We find the script and it's going to be the last login user. Here's our script. Uh, pretty similar to um, the previous uh, script. You get data and with AWK, you minimize it a bit. And if the last user is VTMP, that's legacy shouldn't happen on Ventura and later, but then it says no login. If not, it will just act echo. So it's an if statement, if, and here's the end of the if. So we have already run this one. We know it's working. We go next. We add to the same group, the Mac OS devices and off we go. So you can create whatever attribute you want. So what do we don't, we don't have an integer now. So hopefully the last script reports back an integer, right? And it does. So this one count how many configuration profiles exist on the device. So if we check on this device, how many profiles does it have? One, two, three, four, five. So the script should return back a five. Let's see if that's happened. First, we do the same. We go format, make plain text. We save this one, same folder. Let's call this one GBN 
account the um, configuration profiles and dot sh let's uncheck i don't think we need to uncheck that one it's just as if it's no extension and we actually put one and we go back to our terminal we do the same change mod i uh, do 755 and let's was it count yep and then let's run this one so hopefully oh, i forgot the forward slash gbm so hopefully this one should give a five now and count how many pro, uh, configuration profile yes five so it gives the correct one. Okay, the script works. We go back, we click add. We call this one count configuration profiles. Count how many configuration profiles are, um, are installed. We go next. So it's not going to be a string, it's not going to be a date, it's going to be an integer, a number. Let's get the file. And this is the one we want. Here we see the script. We have tested it works. Let's go next. Add it to a group. Add to all Mac devices. Select next. Add. And it's been created. So now it might be a waiting game. So we can start to look at the first one we created. That was the remote date. So right now it has not run. So I'm gonna pause the video and retake it when we see that it have uh, run. Okay, now we have waited a bit. And uh, if we go in here and now see count configuration profiles, we click here. If we had multiple devices, we would see more, but here we see device status. Here's my device that we targeted and it succeeded. And the result back is an integer five profiles. As you remember, that's exactly how many as it is. And this script will run again. So if it change, it will update. Let's see which more we got. We got last logged in user. If we go device status, it showed John Brins here as well. So if we had multiple devices, we would see the result for all of the devices. And the last one was uh, reboot date. So look, properties, nope, device status, and the result comes back here as well. So we have successfully created three custom attributes and you can create, of course, as many as you need. And you, the limit is what you want to get back because you script what you want to get back. And usually what I do to get the, the script is that I use a, a script from the Jamf repository. Let's uh, see if we can quickly do that. So if we look for Jamf, that's another platform to manage uh, Mac OS. Uh, if we look script, I think it's called extension attributes there. Attributes. Okay, let's take for example, uh, battery condition. So even though this script, if we look raw here, it's uh, written for Jamf, we can still use it for uh, uh, Intune. The only difference is that when you echo the, the thing, we can just remove the result. You can take all the script that you find on other sites, but you just remove uh, the results. So this uh, tag here, and then you can use it because uh, Intune will only care about what gets echoed out. Okay, so to summarize this, we created the uh, three custom attributes and feel free to add whatever you need. So excellent. In the next video, we're gonna speak about the Google Chrome and package. Thank you very much and have a great day.